Hello everyone. I am Hamadri. Today we will discuss about Appium. Here are some of the things we are going to cover in this video. Today I will cover. What is Appium? Advantages of Appium. Disadvantages of Appium. Types of mobile application. And Appium architecture. Now let's start with our first topic. What is Appium? Appium is an open source tool. It supports Android, iOS, Windows OS. We can execute same code in different OS versions like Android, iOS. It reduces redundant code and helps to increase code reusability. It has implemented the Selenium web driver, which connects through Apple Scutist for iOS 9.3 and above or UI automation for iOS 9.3 and lower. It uses UI Automator or UI Automator 2 for Android or WinApp driver for Windows. Now let's discuss about Appium advantages. It's an open source tool. That means it is completely free. You can install it and start automating. Awesome right? We can execute the same code in different cross-platform like Android, iOS considering your app functionalities are same. Of course you have to launch different driver for that. Remember that your UI element can be different. So don't forget to change the UI elements like ID or SPAF. Using Appium we can automate native app like messaging, hybrid app like Gmail, or Twitter, and mobile web applications. We will discuss in details about the different types of app later in this video. Here is the summary. Please go through it. Now let's talk about some of the disadvantages Appium has. Appium does not support parallel execution in iOS below iOS 9.3. Appium uses remote web driver. Due to remote web driver, performance is slow. Reports are not in detail. There are three different types of applications. 1. Native application. 2. Hybrid application. 3. Mobile web application. Apart from these there is another application called PWA or Progressive Web App. Native applications are written using Windows, Android, iOS SDKs. You can download the application from Play Store and install in your devices. Here I have shown the example of Contact App. It is a native app, here lists of contacts, creating a new contacts, saving the contacts. All are developed using Android SDK. Hybrid applications are a mix of web and native applications. Here native applications have control and it interacts with mobile web applications. Like native app, you can download the hybrid application from Play Store and install in your devices. Here I have shown the example of Twitter app. It is a hybrid app. Mobile web applications are web-based applications. These are accessible using Chrome, Android, Safari, iOS browser. We can develop this type of application by HTML, CSS, JavaScript, AngularJS. I have taken example of Instagram. Please see the video. There is another app like PWA or Progressive Web App. Now we will learn about Appium architecture. Appium is a HTTP server, written in a Node.js platform. Different driver sessions like Android, iOS connect to the server through WebDriver JSON wire protocol. When we install Appium through a command prompt or GUI, a server receives setup to expose a REST API. We start the server through the command prompt or GUI and run our tests through different clients like Java, Python, JavaScript, etc. 
The server receives the client's connections call and commands and executes them. It uses Apple's Scutist for iOS 9.3 and above or UI automation for iOS 9.3 and lower to interact with iOS applications. It uses UI Automator or UI Automator 2 for Android to interact with Android applications. Please see the example. As you can see, once an Appium client like Java or Python etc. connects to an Appium server with desired capabilities as parameters and communicates through JSON wire protocol, the server creates a session and connects with UI Automator or UI Automator 2 for Android or Squitist for iOS. UI Automator or UI Automator 2 then interacts with Bootstrap.jar for Android and Squitist interacts with Bootstrap.js for iOS. After that it returns the response to the Appium server, and Appium server return the response to the client. In the next video we will learn, how to install Appium. Are you excited? Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. If you like our video, please like, comment and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.